What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be checking out the Galaxy Nexus versus the LG Nexus 4 in specs and seeing if it's worth the upgrade. Now the LG Nexus 4 is coming out on the 13th which is tomorrow. We hope Google is going to allow us to buy it like at midnight, I think it's PST time, Pacific Standard Time which is uh, going to be 8am in the UK. So let's check it out anyway. The first thing I'm going to say is if you love LTE and you've got a Galaxy Nexus with LTE, yeah, you can't upgrade if you want LTE because the LG Nexus 4 does not have an LTE variant yet. It may come out with one eventually, but at the moment it does not have it. So, yeah. If you want LTE, stick with your Galaxy Nexus because it's not going to have it. Um, now, in terms of dimensions, the Nexus 4 is thicker. 9.1 millimeters versus 8.9 and heavier 139 grams versus 135 than the than the Galaxy Nexus so you're actually getting a heavier and slightly thicker phone I mean there's not much in it probably you won't even notice it but if you always want something thinner and lighter this isn't going to be the phone for you because it is a bit bigger and a bit heavier um, it's just the way it is now let's get down to the screen Super AMOLED versus true HD IPS plus this is kind of one of those things that is up to you I mean Super AMOLED gives great rich colors um, maybe sometimes people say too rich the true HD IPS gives a great color tone a more natural color tone but some people don't like it because it's a bit warmer so that is going to be up to you there resolution on the Galaxy Nexus is 1280 by 720 on the new Nexus 4 it's 1280 by 768 so a slight bump in resolution and also a slight bump in screen size 4.7 inches versus the Galaxy Nexus 4.65 inches now the pixel density is also greater on the LG Nexus 4 at 318 versus 316 ppi so I mean the screens are pretty much the same but the early reviews of the Nexus 4 have said that the screen is absolutely amazing it's crisp it's beautiful colors I can't wait to get my hands on this so I say the uh, LG Nexus wins in terms of screen. Gorilla Glass 2 versus just that. I, I, I'm pretty sure it did have Gorilla Glass, but I could be wrong. Either way, Gorilla Glass 2 is actually just kind of a thinner version of Gorilla Glass. Um, it's meant to be stronger, but it seems to smash all just the same. But it is scratch resistant, not crack resistant. So if you, you know, you're still going to crack it if you're not going to be careful with it. Moving on to storage, the LG, the sorry, the Galaxy Nexus came in 16 gigabyte model and one gigabyte of RAM. The LG Nexus comes in eight and 16 and two gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not sure if the Galaxy Nexus did actually release a 32 gigabyte version. I'm not sure, um, but the LG Nexus wins here with two gigabytes of RAM, which is going to give you better multitasking. More programs can be open at once. It's going to be epic, right? Um, what else do we have here there's all this stuff that's obviously updated like this has the 42 megabits version of the HSDPA whereas the Galaxy Nexus doesn't but then if you're on LTE it doesn't matter um, Bluetooth version 4 on the LG Nexus whereas it's got version 3 on the Samsung Nexus both have NFC obviously um, USB is the standard micro USB the Galaxy Nexus has MHL, which is how you put it on like a big screen TV. It says it has MHL here, but it's actually wrong. It actually has slim port, which is basically the same thing. Now, one of the big upgrades is actually the camera. We've gone from a 5 megapixel camera on the Galaxy Nexus to an 8 megapixel on the LG Nexus 4. From early reviews, they say it's much, much improved on the uh, Galaxy Nexus because we all know the Galaxy Nexus camera kind of sucked, right? Um, this is going to be, I still don't think it's going to be like Galaxy S3 or iPhone 5 sort of camera. It's not. That's just not what the Nexus range is about. Um, but it's going to be better than the Galaxy Nexus. You can see here 1080p at 24 frames per second on the Galaxy Nexus and 1080p on, at 30 frames per second on the LG Nexus 4. That's going to be down to the like, processors and stuff like that. Uh, front megapixel camera is the same, so I'm not going to talk about that. The, I'm not going to talk about the OS either because... I'm pretty sure that the Galaxy Nexus will be getting all the features that the LG Nexus 4 has because, you know, it's a Nexus, the whole point, right? 
So I'm not going to bother talking about that. Now I think the biggest difference in between these phones is the CPU and GPU by far. Um, in the Galaxy Nexus, we've got a dual core 1.2 gigahertz with a PowerVR SGX 540 uh, GPU. Now, I mean, this is a year old phone, and that I would say the CPU is still good, but the GPU is a bit dated now. In the LG Nexus 4, we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro, which is a quad core 1.5 gigahertz CPU, which is actually running on Crate, which is new architecture so it's better it's better performing it's more efficient and the next gen adreno 320 graphics that is a powerhouse and some of the early benchmarks have suggested that it's right up there and in sometimes it performs better than the iphone 5 gpu and that is an absolute monster now we have had some th some uh, problems with the lg nexus 4 and it may throttle due to heat but I'm not going to say anything more about that because you know you have to wait until it's in our hands to see if it actually occurs and it's not just something that happens on test units. So LG Nexus 4 definitely, definitely wins out on that one. Uh, battery life again, 2100 milliamps versus 1750 milliamps. So yeah, the LG Nexus is going to win out again there. Now I'm going to say, is this a good upgrade? Do you need to upgrade if you've got the Galaxy Nexus? to the Nexus 4. It is a good upgrade, but it's not like, oh my god, I definitely need this upgrade. I mean, I'm coming from a, a Samsung Galaxy S, so, not a Samsung Galaxy S, just a, a Nexus S, sorry, and, um, you know, it's a massive upgrade. That came with a 1 gigahertz single core CPU, 512 megabits of RAM, you know, standard resolution screen, so it's a massive upgrade for me, which is why I'm getting it. Um, the Galaxy, I still think it is a big upgrade over the Galaxy Nexus, but it's not as big. I mean, you won't need, and especially if you've got LTE on your Galaxy Nexus, then it's not an upgrade at all for you. I'm just so excited about this S4 Pro because it's going to be able to run everything so smoothly. And that's not to say that the Galaxy Nexus is a slouch, it's really not. In fact, when it got Jelly Bean, it was the smoothest Android phone out. So. It really is up to you if you've got a Galaxy Nexus whether you want to upgrade to the Nexus 4. Um, I think it is a good enough upgrade. I think it's really nice. The phone I've seen from the reviews show it looks really nice. The performance is great. You know, it plays all the latest games on high quality, with hardly any, if any, frame drops. Um, the screen is better, more memory, and you know, yeah, it's a bit light on the old memory and no SD card slot. But you know, Google's trying to push it to the cloud, I guess. At the end of the day, it's going to come down to your decisions. Do you want to spend the money? I mean, the Galaxy Nexus came out at the normal price, I think, of like 400, 500 pounds. Whereas the LG Nexus 4, with its great hardware, is coming in at like 280 for the 16 gigabyte model. So, amazing price. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Have you got a Galaxy Nexus? Are you thinking about upgrading? Let me know in the comments because I really want to know. Um, if I had a Galaxy Nexus, I would upgrade, I think, just because, you know. That S4 Pro and 2GB of RAM really is swaying me. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later.